gives you a appreciation of looking to the big picture and build, accumulating your knowledge of what is going on not only in this part of the world, but also the whole world economy. That's really important for any job. If you want to understand how the world works and how global politics are organized and function, you have to understand history, you have to understand economics, you have to understand kind of the dynamics of conflict and war, you have to understand culture and religion. And so it has to be interdisciplinary if you're going to have a sense of all the complex variables that come together to make international relations. It's designed to allow you, other than a minority of semi-required courses, to construct your own major within the IR program itself. I've done everything from microfinance to helping entrepreneurs in Chile to possibly working at a startup. This range of experience is of course the product of me being able to think critically through situations and being able to really be comfortable with the change. I think IR major you really need a curiosity for the world. You really want to learn not only what is going on in this country, you also want to know what is going on in the whole world. About half of IR majors are international students. I found it incredibly engaging because in a lot of my classes I've been able to have people from countries that can speak to their own experience in terms of a particular policy or a particular program. The number one strength of the IR program at CMC is the faculty. We've got a really broad faculty in terms of both functional area and geographic discipline. I think that our department is unique mainly because the professors. The classroom is just a big debate to actually being challenged with a different opinion. It's just an amazing feeling. We want them to know what it's like to be in other parts of the world, to develop empathy, to develop intuition, to develop relationships, connections, and friendships with people in other countries. And we think that is going to really help them better understand what they're learning in books in a really important way. I love the study abroad requirement. I think it's just a great way to broaden one's horizons. It has made them more sophisticated, it's made them better educated, and it has probably increased their empathy for other cultures. Freshman year summer, I spent in uh, Israel digging with Professor Gary Gilbert and I actually got a full grant to be in Israel just doing archaeology, which I've never done before. It's a really rewarding experience. Almost every one of my students will do at least one and usually more than one internship over the course of their college career. They can do internships in foreign countries, they can do internships in Washington DC, and they gather so much experience and they make such important and useful connections with people. It's a great experience. Claremont International Relations Society is really helpful because it holds events like tea events with a professor and creates opportunities for you to talk to your professor and sometimes we would go to professor's house to just hang out and talk and it's just really great that you get those opportunities that you will never get in a big school. We prepared our students with study abroad, with the experience they get through internships that we help support, with the classroom experiences that they have here, with the on-campus extracurriculars that they have. We prepare them for graduate school, for work in pretty much any career. Our students end up in Washington, D.C., they go into firms internationally or domestically, they go into law school, they go into the best graduate programs in the country. Our students find themselves, because they've gone through such a rigorous course of study here in international relations, really prepared when it's time to then take that next step. CMC is definitely the best choice I've ever made in my life. <laughs>